Okay, so question two. So a restaurant has the following menu and they show you four uh, main courses uh, with different prices and three uh, desserts with different prices. So John orders a steak. So he's going to order uh, this guy and he's going to order cheesecake. So what you need to do then, they're asking to work out the price of his meal. So he's paying four ninety five for the steak, STK for steak. And he's paying, sorry, that's the cheesecake. Delete that, sorry. So we will put cheesecake and steak, which is eighteen ninety five, and we simply add them together which is going to give us 23 euros and 90 cent. So that's the answer for the first part, A1. Now, John pays for the meal with a 50 euro note. How much change should he get? So simple subtraction. So you put down your 50 euro, put down your 23.90, which is what John paid. So what is he going to get back? He's going to get back 26 euros and 10 cent. Okay, so Michelle picks one main course and one dessert. In how many different possible ways could she do this? For example, one way is to pick fish and ice cream. So what you have here basically is, let's say Michelle picked fish. So she picked fish, you could either have this the ice cream, the cheesecake, or the brownie. So for each of these, she can have three of these. For each of the steak, she can have three of these. For each of the pasta, she can have three of these, and so on. So basically, you have four dinners. So main course, you have four options. And dessert, you have three options. So this is the fundamental uh, counting rule. So the total number of options here is four multiplied by three, which is 12. So that's the total different number of ways that Michelle could have a main course and a dessert. Okay, so that's your answer, 12. Now, Gina asks, orders food costing 72 euro. Uh, she gives a tip of 15 euro of this cost, so of the 72, rounded to the nearest euro. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So it's 72 euro. And we need to get 15% of that. So 15% is 0 0.5 as a decimal, 0.15 as a decimal. So 10% would be 0 0.1. 15% is 0 0.15. So the answer to that is 1080. Uh, but we've been told rounded to the nearest euro. So 1080 is nearer to 11 euros than it is to uh, 10 euros. So we're going to round that up to 11 euro. So that's the tip that Gina is going to give. So there is your answer. Right, now the next one. There's five waiters and three kitchen staff working in the restaurant. At the end of each night, the tips are added all together and then split evenly between the eight people. So one night, uh, the three kitchen staff get a combined total of 96 in tips. Work out the total value of all the tips. Okay, so they've put that word in bold for a reason. So you have been told that three people out of a total of eight have been given this amount of money. So this amount of money is in fact three eighths of all the money because we know that the tips have been, are divided equally between all of them. So what we need to find actually is we need to find eight eighths of all the money. Okay, so 96 euro equals three eighths of the tips. And the reason for that is because uh, we have three people of 
8. Okay, so that's why it's 96. So what I need to do is get 1 8 or get the money for one person. So 96 divided by 3 is going to give me 32 euro per person within the 8. So each of them are going to get 32 euro. But I've been asked for the total value. So in fact, what I need to do then is multiply that by eight people, which is going to give me 286 euro uh, for total tips that evening. Okay, so that's your answer.